This one is an interesting one. It is a super lightweight showdown. All right, Dan, I'm going to be the first one to say we don't know a lot here about these two guys uh, uh, that are uh, that are battling in the junior welterweight or super lightweight division. Jack Rafferty and Henry Turner are the uh, are the guys that are going to scrap here at 140 pounds. Both undefeated. Both of them have regional titles. And here's the thing for our handicapping purposes. Look at that. It is virtually an even 50-50 fight. Look at the props. Uh, they would both pay significantly for KO or by decision. So there's a lot trying to entice the public to bet on on uh, on BetUS here for Jack Rafferty and Henry Turner. Again, the disclaimer, peeps. These are up-and-coming U.K. fighters at 140 pounds. I don't know how many stones and kilos that is. Oh, come Somebody on. help oh, us oh, out oh. in the chat. I, what, do you know what that is off the top of your head while you make Absolutely. fun of me? It's, it's 10 stone because one stone Thank equals you. 13 pounds. Thank you. That's why I have you here because I'm delirious right now. All right, so 10 stone, ladies and gentlemen, weight class. Turner Rafferty, both undefeated. In Rafferty's case, he's got 23 pro wins, but often, as you say, who are the 23? It doesn't necessarily mean you've been in with the better opposition. Give me a little handicapping here, and then let's make a pick, each one of us. What do we like? Yeah, this, is this, like you said, uh, for, for that area, this is a good, like, sort of regional matchup. Uh, the winner can certainly take a step forward in terms of the upper echelon of their career to move up to bigger and better fights. Uh, in terms of titles, it is for the vacant British title, which is somewhat of a big deal. Dalton Smith, who's one of the top up-and-coming British fighters, vacated that title. The other title, which right. is held currently uh, by well, held by Rafferty, is the uh, Commonwealth title. So within the UK uh, boxing uh, community, let's say, if you're fighting in a British and Commonwealth title, that's sort of a big deal. That's a stepping stone to bigger stuff, whether it maybe you move on to the European title uh, potentially even to a world title down the road. That is a very common course of the way it the goes. Brit, the Brits like to call it a cracker. Have we got a cracker here? Are they gonna Are they gonna fire at each other? These two guys, I, both undefeated. So. What do we think? I mean, neither guy, based on if you take a look at their records, neither one of them appears to be like a big, huge puncher. They've got some knockouts, mm -hmm. but they're not very, very massively high knockout percentages. Uh, in the in terms of uh, 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 Turner. Guess he has far fewer fights, 23 fights. The other man has 20, uh, I'm sorry, Turner with 13 fights, the other one with 23 fights. So there's a big difference in terms of their professional experience. But if you, like you said, who were the guys they fought? The reality yeah. is in the 13 fights uh, that Turner has had thus far, when I took a look at the records of the two guys, I feel like Turner definitely has faced not elite opposition, but certainly better than some of the Drex's. Uh, that uh, Rafferty has faced, you know, guys with massive sub 500 records and that sort of thing. So from that standpoint, I like Turner. Turner is five, four or five years younger. I think uh, what is Turner is um, 25 years old. Uh, Correct. Rafferty is 29 years old. So there's a difference there. Uh, or 24 years old, I should say, for Turner. Plus, he's a southpaw. That's always problematic a lot of times for these guys. And, you know, he is the favorite in the fight. Uh, not by a lot. Um, but I like the youth. I like the the fact that he's fought better fighters, that it's taken an older fighter like Rafferty has yet to step up against a serious opponent where I'm not saying that the other guys fought tons of top guys, but certainly has fought better opponents so far. Um, again, not huge names, but as an example, Tom Farrell, you know, solid British level fighter who he defeated, who's been in the ring with some good guys. I'm like, I mean, I'm trying, I'm reaching at straws here in that sense. Well, I understand. The other guy, Rafferty, has fought, you know, a doorman and, you know, Vir virtually no and one, nobody. Vir so, virtually no one. All right. So what's the pick? What do you like? So the, the pick is, I think uh, I, I'm going with the younger man. I'm going with the guy with the better resume and I'm going with, uh, with our boy Turner to win a decision. And I'm saying, because a decision, obviously I'm taking the over, which uh, is 10 and a half rounds. So when the end comes, we will see a new uh, British and Commonwealth junior welterweight champion, 10 stone TJ. 10 stone. You say Henry Turner. I heard all of that. I'm not passing up the money line here. I, uh, Rafferty is older. He is more experienced. I get you on who's the quality of opposition. But something says to me this might be an upset for Jack Rafferty. Let's lock it in. We disagree. There's disagreement on the Friday show here. Okay. Uh, not just the Nick Ball fight, but we disagree here that you're going to take uh, Henry Turner. By decision, you cash plus 150 if he gets the decision. you got to lay a little bit on the over. I will take Jack Rafferty, the under the other undefeated fighter. These are again junior welterweights, 140 pounds. 
This is Saturday afternoon on the undercard of the Nick Ball this is uh, the, main event. This is the co-feature of that card. Co-feature of that card coming Saturday afternoon. So good luck there with the picks. And there you go with some more handicapping on a second fight. A true 50-50 fight. I mean, the money line only yeah, paying 120 for Rafferty. Uh, if Listen, he gets we like 50-50 fights. I mean, we have a lot of times yeah. where you know, we pick the big fights where we have big names. But unfortunately, a lot, a lot of times the odds are pretty wide. I mean, it's a, it's actually a, a nice change of pace to get a fight where I like that. there's a reason to, to sort of do the handicapping to – Make it interesting. And that inter one has, and that one has the potential to be a very even competitive fight. And let's see yeah. if they're if they're cracking, if they're smoking, uh, if there's if it's good action uh, there. All right. So